This year, Lake Penasofke at its peak was the third highest water level recorded since 1960. We were getting a lot of calls from the public. We had folks that were very concerned with flooding. I'm Dr. Mark Fulkerson, a senior professional engineer with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I was noticing that the flows leaving Lake Penasofke weren't as strong as historically they'd been in the past. Rising water levels in Lake Penasofke was accelerated, I believe, by the hydraulic growth in the Outlet River. We decided we needed to get out in the field and physically measure what those flows were. What kind of reading are we getting, Taylor? It's about 237 cubic feet per second. Because hydrilla had grown up so much in the Outlet River this year, and because we were seeing lake levels rise so much quicker than we had in the past, we knew we had to to do something. This wasn't a normal situation. This year we've witnessed uh, considerably more than high drill, especially in the Outlet River than I've actually ever seen in my lifetime. I'm Jim Veal, owner of Panta Vista Lodge. We're right at the mouth of the Outlet River, leaving Lake Panasofke. Hydrilla is a submerged aquatic plant. It's an invasive introduced plant. It's problematic throughout the state. It does grow from the bottom to the top of the water. And in doing so, especially when it's as thick as it was on the Outlet River, it does channelize the flow and it also increases the roughness or the ability of the water to flow through the system. I'm Brian Nelson with the Southwest Florida Water Management District. I'm the vegetation management section manager. We decided to do a herbicide treatment because we wanted to remove as much of the hydrilla as possible. But we were we're also concerned about once all the hydrilla died, it might break loose because of the flow of the water in the river. We were worried about a vegetation jam forming on the Highway 470 bridge, so we actually incorporated chemical treatment as well as mechanical harvesting to make sure we didn't have a jam. I was a little doubtful at how much it would increase the flows, but after seeing and witnessing it, it really increased the flows of the outlet and was able to uh, start dropping the water level a lot quicker than it would have. We were seeing flows at 200 cubic feet per second when they should have been about 400 or 450, which caused water levels in Lake Penasofke to rise quicker than normal. Once we treated the hydrilla, we saw outflows from the lake immediately increase, and that helped lower lake levels. We coordinate with FWC uh, to manage the lakes and rivers in our district. As I mentioned, the University of Florida Center for Aquatic Invasive Plant staff was involved with the uh, drip treatment. It was a good cooperative effort uh, amongst all those agencies to get this job done so that we could get the water level down. Prior to the treatment, Hydrilla was topped out and it was the full expanse of the river and you can see it when you look down upon the river. After the treatment and shortly thereafter, really, the Hydrilla laid down and it died off to the bottom of the channel and now it's cleared out. Part of the district's mission is to do everything we can to reduce flooding. And there are thousands of people that live on Lake Penasofke. We wanted to take action to do what we could to help prevent the lake from rising further. 